In this video I'll explain how to find unique values in a list object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the list object that we can create with the lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new list object is appearing which is called myList and we can put this list object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code. So after running this line of code you can see that we have created a list containing four list elements and each of these list elements contains a vector containing character letters. Now let's assume that we want to return all letters in these list elements that are unique. Then we can apply the unique and the unlist functions as you can see in line 8 of the code. So the unlist function creates a vector of all elements in our list and then the unique function returns each element of this vector only once. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see at the bottom that a new output is created and as you can see this vector object that has been returned at the bottom in the RStudio console shows each element that is contained in our list only once. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.